Board of Education, regular meeting at the Age Administration Building, and I'm going to hand this over to Holly. Good evening. We have Mr. Miles Edmonston. He's going to be leading us in the pledge today. So. through the high school and junior high program we have here at Scottsboro. Please help us and guide us as we try to enable our administrators and our teachers to give them the best possible chance for education in a safe and secure school building. Help us to work tirelessly to make sure that that is the safest place they can possibly be. And dear Lord, let us work tirelessly to keep all evil away from our young people. That the high, part of the most difficult stress they experience will be a, a, a difficult exam. Please be with us. Please, please be with those in Florida and other places that have suffered through acts of evil. We ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. All right, if you will, we're going to recognize a few students uh, this evening. So if you will, if you'll hold your applause until I kind of give you uh, uh, the cue to do so. Uh, we're going to get uh, different teams, uh, different individuals academically that we're going to recognize. And then young people, when we get through recognizing everyone, uh, what we'll do is, unless y'all want to sit through a riveting Board of Education meeting, you can go do whatever it is that you do. So I'm sure that all of you will be staying. All right, can travel. That's right, it's riveting, son. Okay, we're going to start uh, with uh, Mr. William Moore. Uh, William, will you come down? Tonight, or this afternoon rather, we're going to award this certificate to Mr. William Moore as acknowledgement of outstanding achievement for scoring the highest score in the eighth grade on the Global Scholar Science uh, Winter Assessments. Ms. Carey, you going to get a picture? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, you get to wait until she gets ready so everybody can see you. That's why you get extra air time. Miles Edmondson and Evan Pierce. Please come up, Miss Pierce and Mr. Edmondson. <laughs> you two will just stand right here side by side. This certificate of achievement is presented to Evan Pierce as acknowledgement for being selected as the 2018 Miss SHS and to Mr. Miles Edmondson for his acknowledgement for being selected as the 2018 Mr. SHS. So let's give them a hand and take it. This time, would Cassidy Bryant please come up? This afternoon, this certificate of achievement is presented to Cassidy Bryant as acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in being selected as Lieutenant Governor for District 1, 2018 Alabama Key Club. Let's give her a round of applause. Sydney 
he's just getting a picture with him for Kiwanis. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are now going to recognize the 30 plus uh, students. And I want to read something that Mr. Dudley has given to me, uh, just some facts about the 30 plus club. Uh, those members of the 30 plus club must score a 30 or better on the ACT. If they are, uh, if they are better, they're already 30 plus score, then we'll update the records to reflect the best one. At the end of the year, we'll frame the yearbook portraits and display them in the new academic honors hall. We'll also reward them with club t-shirt on awards day. The shirts will display their score and name on the back with an SHS 30 plus club logo on the front. It says for now, the years that will be enshrined are the 2016 to 2018 classes and all underclassmen who have already met the standard score. Class portraits will not be finalized and hung until the fall of the year after the graduating year. We hope to have a small banquet to honor the new members each year somewhere around homecoming weekend. So at this time, when I call these names, if you will, if you'll come up, Mr. Williams will give you your certificate. You'll stay up here, and then we'll give them applause when we get everybody up here. And fans, if you'd like to take a picture, you can do so at that time. So we'll start uh, with sophomores. Mr. Ben Gossett and Mason Sharp. Now all of these certificates will read as such, as acknowledgement and official induction into the Scottsboro High School chapter of 30 plus club, indicating that this student has achieved at least a composite score of 30 on the ACT standardized assessments. It's Mr. Made up some that couldn't be with us for our obligations as band as an organization. Okay. Yes, sir. Juniors. Patrick Burns. Madison Guffey. Abigail Flowers. Haley Land, Jacob Simmons, Isabel Wynn. Did I miss any juniors, Mr. Dudley? <laughs> Current seniors, Joshua Andrews. Okay. Caleb Baker. Mr. Jason, if we'll start. On that. <coughs> Sorry. Andrew Bayer. Davis Bostrom. Davis, did I get that right? Yes, sir. Good. I would have corrected it if you'd have told me. <laughs> Grace Butler. Blake Collins, Thomas Gibson, Caleb Gwynn, Lauren Hall, Tad Hancock, Wimberly Haston. Wimberly, did I get that right? Yes. Skyler Overby, Amelia Parrish, Jessica Pockris, Will Rogers, Connor Whitted. Did I get that right, Con? Whitted. Thank you. Again, this is an acknowledgement and official induction into the Scottsboro High School chapter of 30 plus club indicating that these students before you this afternoon 
have achieved at least a composite score of 30 on the ACT standardized assessment. Let's give this bunch a hand. Stay there until everybody gets a picture now. <laughs> okay. Can we do it one more time, y'all? This is a good bunch right here. All right, at this time, could we ask that the Scottsboro girls indoor track team, the entire girls indoor track team, if you'll come up first. We're going to recognize you as a group, and we're going to ask you to be seated, and then we'll call you back up individually for awards, okay? Coach, I'm here. Yes, absolutely. Coach. Coach is here tonight. This afternoon, Coach Smith. Ms. Coleman, you need us to... <laughs> I'm sorry, Luke Robinson. <laughs> 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 All right, I've been forgiven. I've been forgiven. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it says, whereas the Scottsboro girls indoor track team spent many hours training and preparing for the 2018 meets, and whereas they competed in various meets during the 2018 season, whereas on Saturday, February the 3rd, 2018, the girls won third place at the AHSA Class 4 or 5A State Indoor Track Championship. That's not right. I'm just reading it as it says. <laughs> it's wrong. What does that say, sir? That says third. That's right. That says third. You're right. They won second place at the AHSA 4 through 5A State Indoor Track Championship. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Scottsboro City Board of Education does hereby compliment and praise the Scottsboro uh, girls indoor track team and coaches Luke Robinson, Francis Coleman, Patrick Laney, and Greg Hope for their outstanding achievements in 2018 and wishes continued success for the girls indoor track program adopted this the first day of March 2018 signed by Miss Julie Gentry, board president. Let's give this bunch a hand. Stay right there. Parents, if you need to take a picture, go ahead. Coach Ray has an eyeball on that taco, bro. That was not on me. It's all right, Coach. I will correct you. Okay, that's <laughs> good. Okay. All right. Uh, looks like they got it. Thank you all so much. Go drop and be seated, okay? Yes, sir. All right, this time we will recognize individual students. Students, if you will, when we call your name, if you'll come up. Coach Esslinger will be here. Coach Robinson will be here as well. We will clap for them after we get everybody, uh, everybody called out. Coach Coleman will be here as well. First, we'll start with Lauren Bell. This certificate is Acknowledgement of Outstanding Achievement and Winning Fourth Place in the Shot Put at the 4 through 5A meet, 2018 state indoor meet. That was February the 2nd through the 3rd. Anna Carlson. Anna's receiving acknowledgement of outstanding achievement. Third place, 4 by 800 relay. Fifth place, 800 meter run. Sixth place, 4 by 400 meter relay. At the AHSAA 4 through 5A state indoor meet. Anna Cloud. 
This is acknowledgement of her outstanding achievement. Third place, 4x800 relay. Fifth place, 1600 meter. At the Alabama High School Athletic Association, 4 through 5A state indoor meet. Libby Fowler. This is in acknowledgement of outstanding achievement. Sixth place, 4x400 four meter relay. At the AHSAA, 4 through 5A indoor track meet. Maddie Gossett. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement and winning fifth place in the 3200 meter run at the Alabama High School Athletic Association 4 through 5A indoor track meet. Lauren Ham, third place in the high jump, third place in the pole vault. Again, this is acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in those events for the High School Athletic Association 4 through 5A state indoor track meet. Michaela Keel. This is an acknowledgement for outstanding achievement in winning sixth place in the pole vault at the High School Athletic Association 4 through 5A state indoor meet. Amber Littles. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning third place in the 4 by 800 meter relay at the AHSA 4 through 5A indoor meet. Emily Littles. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning sixth place in the 4 by 400 meter relay at the AHSAA Class 4 through 5A state meet. Isabella Noble. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning third place at the 4 through 800 meter relay, sixth place in the 1600 meter run, and seventh place in the 3200 meter run at the indoor. 4 through 5A state meet. Aaliyah Scott. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning fifth place in the shot put at the Alabama High School Athletic Association Class 4A 5A state meet. Izzy Wynn. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning fourth place in the long jump and triple jump, sixth place in the high jump, and sixth place at the 4 by 400 meter relay <coughs> the Alabama High School Athletic Association 4 through 5A State Indoor Track Meet. Let's give this bunch of ladies a hand. track team to come up as a group. And while they're coming up, the resolution reads, whereas the Scottsboro Boys indoor track team spent many hours training and preparing for the 2018 meets and whereas they competed in various meets during the 2018 season and whereas on Saturday, February the 3rd, 2018, the boys won second place at the Alabama High School Athletic Association Class 4 through 5A State Indoor Track Championship. Now therefore be it resolved that the Scottsboro City Board of Education does hereby compliment and praise the Scottsboro Boys Indoor Track Team and coaches Luke Robinson, Francis Coleman, Patrick Laney, and Greg Hope for their outstanding achievements in 2018 and wishes continued success for the boys indoor track program adopted this the first day of march 2018 signed by board president julie gentry let's give this bunch a hand my right, boys we still got a couple pictures over here got 
one to your left, y'all look to your left, one to your right. <laughs> Just find your parents. <laughs> All right, thank you, man. Y'all have a seat. Benson, just stay right here. I will start with recognizing individually Mr. Benson Atkins. Benson, you'll stay right up here, my coach. Benson Atkins is recognized, acknowledged rather, for his outstanding achievement in winning second place in the 4x800 meter relay and seventh place in 1600 meter run at the AHSAA 4 through 5A indoor track meet. Cooper Atkins, this is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning second place in the 4x800 meter relay, fifth place in the 4x400 meter relay, and sixth place in the 800 meter run at the Alabama High School Athletic Association Class 4 through 5A state meet. Will Coleman. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning second place in the 4 by 800 meter relay and seventh place in the 800 meter run at the AHSAA Class 4 through 5A indoor track meet. Christian Hudson. Hayden Judge, this is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning second place in the 4x800 meter relay, third place in the 1600 meter and 3200 meter runs, and fifth place in the 4x400 meter relay at the AHSAA 4 through 5A indoor state track meet. Jacob Manning. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning fifth place in the long jump, fifth place in the 4 by 400 meter relay, and eighth place in the 4 by 200 meter relay at the HSA Class 4 through 5A state indoor meet. Bobby Parsons. Cam Tucker. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning 8th place in the 4x200 meter relay at the AHSAA Class 4 through 5A State Indoor Track Meet. Would you please give this round of young men. At this time, I would like to ask Miss Abby Jones to come up, please. Abby, if you will, if you'll walk over to Miss Gentry. Okay. Or you want, to, you want to come over here where you can get a picture carrier? Okay. All right, we'll recognize that we've been trying to do this, I think, for two months. All right, but Abby's a busy girl. So uh, this certificate of achievement is presented to Abby Jones as acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in being selected to the 2017 Class 5A All-Area Tournament of Volleyball in Area 14. Let's give Miss Abby a hand. All right, if we will, uh, let's ask the uh, high school wrestling team to step up as a team, please. <coughs> Men will do the same. We'll, we'll recognize you as a team. Y'all line up, and we'll be seated, and we'll do individual. All right, as they're coming up with Coach Staten, the resolution says, whereas... The Scottsboro High School wrestling team spent many hours training and preparing for the 2017-18 season and whereas they competed in various matches during the 2017-18 season and whereas on Saturday, February the 18th, 2018, the wrestling team placed second at the Alabama 
High School Athletics Association Class 5A State Wrestling Championship. Now therefore be it resolved that the Scottsboro City Board of Education does hereby compliment and praise the Scottsboro High School Wrestling Team and coaches Chris Staten, Jared Stevenson, and Taylor Matchin for their outstanding achievements in 2017-18 and wishes continued success for the wrestling program. Adopted this the first day of March 2018, signed by Board President Ms. Julie Gentry. Let's give these boys a hand. All right, boys, if you'll be seated, you might as well just sit right on the front. We all coming right back up. All right, first we'll recognize Caleb Anderson. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning fifth place in the 220-pound weight class at the AHSAA Class 5A State Wrestling Tournament. Mr. Connor Calfee. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning fifth place in the 152-pound weight class of the 5A AHSAA State Wrestling Tournament. Mr. Clinton Stewart. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning fifth place in the 106-pound weight class at the 5A State Wrestling Tournament. Marja Billingsley. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning fourth place in the 182-pound weight class at the 5A State Wrestling Tournament. Colton Clark. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning first place and being named state champion for the second time, correct, Mr. Clark? Yes, sir. At the 170-pound weight class at the 5A State Wrestling Tournament. Mr. John McCoffin. This is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning first place and becoming state champion for the second time as well at the 126-pound weight class at the 5A State Wrestling Tournament. Mr. Bradford Womack, this is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement in winning first place and being named state champion at the 285-pound weight class at the 5A State Wrestling Tournament. These boys were only four points out of first place, had a great showing. Let's give them a good hand. This is a letter from the State Department of Education that reads, a Certificate of Achievements, as this is to certify that the Scottsboro City Schools Transportation Program has attained the goal of excellence in school bus safety inspections for 2017 by having less than 10% major deficiencies in the school bus fleet. And that's in recognition of this achievement. 
This certificate is awarded on February the 16th, 2018, and on behalf of our Transportation Department, Mr. Greg Sharp is here to accept that. And Mr. Tony Ball would like to say a couple of words yeah, about our transportation. I would like to say a few words about Greg. Greg is he, he's about to be mad at me probably. He, he doesn't come to these things because he's so shy about it. I, I've, been, I've been hiring people for 20 years in education at different levels. And I want you to know that we have got the best shop in this state. And that's not coming from me. People that sell buses that come around, the state inspectors, they consistently brag on our shop. Greg, Greg tell you, your, your children get on buses, these children get on buses more than anybody because they go to track meets and what not. It is amazing what he does to ensure, not just him, but the other guys in the shop to ensure safety. I'm talking about if a bulb is out on a running line, he pulls the bus in, it's not going anywhere. It's, it's amazing the fortitude that he has for that. And, then, and, and kind of on a personal note too, as I mentioned, I have hired lots and lots of people. Greg is undoubtedly the best employee I've ever been in charge of. And I, and I want to say that publicly, and he's going to be mad when we walk off. But <laughs> anyway, thank you for that. Thank you, Greg. Time. Uh, here's what we'll do. First of all, let me say this. Let me again apologize to Luke Robinson. Luke, let me apologize to you in front of all these people on a serious note. Uh, I know we're just kidding around, but I do apologize. I'm sorry for getting that wrong. And then the Cantrells, I apologize. We'll make sure we get that. I appreciate y'all understanding that. And uh, when you make a mistake, you admit it and you move on. I appreciate your understanding of that. All right? Okay. <laughs> At this time, what we're going to do is go over to the boardroom. I know the kids probably don't want to stay, so we should have this.